In this problem, we have this trigonometric ex expression and we have to write it in what's called algebraic form. So basically, we have to get rid of all the trig functions and end up with something that just has x's. You might say, why are we doing this? Well, later on in calculus, we learn something called trigonometric substitution, which is an integration technique. And at the very end of the problem, we basically have to do something like this. Um, so this is like the end of a problem that we'll be doing uh, later. Okay, so in these problems where you have to write an algebraic form, the very first step is to just take this always and call it theta. So step one, call this theta. This always works. So theta is equal to the arc. I always have a hard time spelling this because it's two C's. Oh, it's just ar arc cotangent of x. It's always a little bit difficult. So step one, call it theta. Now we use the fact that this is the inverse cotangent. So if the arc cotangent takes x and sends it to theta, then the cotangent function takes theta and sends it back to x. That, that's what it means for functions to be inverses. In fact, let's explain it backwards. If the cotangent function takes theta and sends it to x, then the arc cotangent takes x and sends it back to theta. So everything is okay. Now we use an ancient proverb. Um, I don't know if that's the right word. So ka toa. Okay, so ka toa. So cotangent is one over tangent. So instead of oa, it's ao, ao. So write this as x over one, and it's ao. <laughs> Too much fun. Ao instead of oa, because tangent is oa, cotangent is one over tangent, so it's ao. And then now you draw a triangle. Every time you draw a little triangle and write down theta. And let's think about this. This is adjacent. So adjacent is your x. So it's adjacent to the angle, so that's going to go here. And this is opposite. So this is opposite to your angle, so it's going to go here. This one's called the hypotenuse, right? So this is the adjacent, the opposite, the hypotenuse. Okay. Uh, we need to give this a name. You might say, oh, it's the hypotenuse. Let's call it little c. No, I don't want to do that. I'm going to call it little b. You might say, why? Um, I just like to use little b. So now we use another ancient theorem. It's the theorem of Pythagoras, which says that b squared is equal to 1 squared plus x squared. And you solve for little b. So basically, you just take the square root of both sides. So square root, square root. So you get little b equals, whoops, whoops, my one disappeared, game over. No, no, game is not over. One plus x squared. Now, some people like to go straight to the answer and because you can see little b here. Personally, I like to go back and fill in the triangle because I feel that it really helps me, especially later. When you see this later, again, this is just going to be at the end of a problem and you might have more, you might have this and some other stuff. So it's really a good idea to completely fill in your triangle. So recap, because we're almost done. Step one, call it theta. So then use the fact that the arc cotangent of x, the arc cotangent takes x, sends it to theta, so cotangent takes theta, sends it back to x. Use Sokotoa. This is AO. Draw a triangle, solve for your triangles. F find all of the sides, and now go back to the original question. So this is cotangent of theta. Okay, cotangent of theta. Uh, not cotangent, sorry, cosine. I was like, cotangent of theta, we just did that. This is cosine of theta. That would have been a very big game over. So cosine of theta, and then what is cosine? It's ka, ka. So it's a over h. I like to write it just like that, totally abusive. So I use the triangle adjacent is this one, so x. And then hypotenuse, that's the h, is this one. There it is. Beautiful stuff. So if you actually take the cosine of the arc cotangent of x, you actually get this algebraic expression. It's pretty ridiculous. Um, I, pretty cool too if you think about it. Like, wow, we took trig functions and we completely elim eliminated them using triangles and came up with an algebraic uh, expression. I hope this video has been helpful. Take care.